Pete wasn't cast yet when we shot this. Um, I think they got Pete. They gave Pete the role towards the end of filming or or after. You know, he brought again that New York swag. You know, Pete's from Staten Island, and and uh, you know, he's hilarious, bro. Like, this is the most fun I've ever had watching a Transformer on screen. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Movie Podcast. My name is Shabazz and of course I am joined by my fellow Autobot, Daniel, or as he's known around Cybertron, D123. D123. Not, so here's, not deep, I'm not deep to, at all. I'm, I know, not deep at all. You literally just gave the first letter of my name yep. and the first three numbers uh-huh. um, that exist. I wanted know, to so. first do your birth date and then, right. you know... The, the stage fright caught on and right. I immediately yeah, like, was... I think because you forgot my birthday I think that's the issue I mean just be honest just be <sighs> honest it's okay you could say you forgot my birthday isn't it uh December nope 32nd nope. 30 okay okay I'm glad you remembered okay, yeah like, you got, you 04 got, you got. 03 93 no, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here, Shabazz. How are you doing? You know, I'm doing great, man. I am doing great. I am an Autobot as well. I am oh. not transforming right now. I'm I'm losing the audience. That's what you're, I'm doing. You're, too much is happening, dude. Too much too is much. happening. Yeah, I yeah. know. I'm sorry for that. And anyone, if any Autobots are listening to this, I'm sorry if I yeah. offended We're you. We're so sorry. We're yeah. so sorry. <laughs> I could Our have apology said... video will come out soon. <laughs> I might have said something uh, in their language that might have been offensive. You literally were speaking English, man. <laughs> <laughs> and do Autobots not speak English? Yeah, but then nothing was offensive, though. Well, I don't know. What if what if to them it's like, how dare he? Dis- Did you hear the tones that he used? Disrupt our planet. <laughs> well, they're always trying to get back home. These poor Autobots are always trying to get back home. Seven movies they, for some reason, can't seem to. No, they can't do it. And no matter what time period it is, none of them are at home. No. None of them are on Cybertron. They yeah. can't do it. it we, you know, when we were driving home, Daniel, we were kind of, uh, and I'm not going to say anything else other than the fact that you and I were kind of pitching a Transformers movie to each other. Are we not right. just for intellectual property? We're not going to say at all what the movie's about because someone will steal it. Okay. Other than Transformers or other than yes. Transformers. We, you know, we should have pitched our special guests. Yes. Uh, this, this movie idea, but we, our time with them was limited. So our time was, was to. too limited. I think we, yeah. it would have been 18 minutes long just to kind of talk about the premise. Just of it. to get out the, the log line of the movie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the elevator pitch. But of course, yeah. the person that we spoke to is not a transformer, but they are a human being. And that person is wait for it, Anthony Ramos. Of course, wow. you know, you've seen Anthony Ramos in in millions of things, famous for Hamilton, famous for In the Heights, and now soon to be famous for Transformers. Another leading man in this in this franchise paired with Dominic Fishback he was such a delight in the film. I know that when we were watching the whole movie, Daniel, you and I just kept saying to each other, man, I want more of him and Mirage every minute. Yeah. Mirage, uh, played by Pete Davidson, and um, Anthony Ramos, who plays Noah in this film, they are the highlights. They steal this movie. I wish we got so much more of them, and I'm so glad we got to talk to to, um, to Anthony. Anthony about... I was going to call him Noah. <laughs> I was so glad that we got to talk to Anthony about his character, Noah, uh, working with Pete Davidson, what was that? What that looked like, and then some other movies and shows he's going to be part of too, like Ironheart and Iron Twisters. Heart. Yeah, the, no, our, I forgot about Twisters. Ahead. Yeah, Twisters is a movie that's coming out, and I know that's one that's we've been looking forward to. Anthony, you know, other member of the movie podcast who is not Ramos editing this. Not, 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 not Ramos. You're right. Another member of the show who's not who's editing this episode right now. Uh, did you know that he wanted to be a storm chaser growing up? It's all he ever talks about to me, and it's it's, it's, it's frankly true. annoying. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like, there's he wanted to be a storm chaser, but it sadly it did not work out for him. Yeah, barely any storms here in in our Toronto area, yeah. uh, and he's always like, I, you know, that could have been me. I'm like, what? The lightning bolt? Like, what are you talking about? Do you see what, that what cumulus could've... cloud over there? <laughs> it could have been. Anthony, it do you know what been. a storm chaser is? It's not an actual storm. <laughs> like, it's someone who goes after them. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, great. I, I I like that Anthony sounds like like a seventy year old man in our uh, in our discussion right now. Well, how would you How would you describe him? I'm Anthony. That's how he would sound like. <laughs> he just sounds like a little boy. Yeah. I'm Anthony. And for me, he's like, oh well, I was gonna get one of them storms no. out there. <laughs> <laughs> but Anthony Ramos, you know, we're, ta- we're, we're I'm not gonna imitate. Anthony Ramos. What a what a 
delight he was Absolutely in the film and to talk to you. What a great guy. Yeah, we had, we had a great conversation. We got to ask a lot of great questions as well. Uh, I know there was so much about it. And obviously, I want to give a huge shout out to our friends at Paramount Pictures for allowing us this opportunity to A, watch the movie, and B, talk to Anthony Ramos. If you haven't already heard our review, uh, please go ahead and check that out. Transformers Rise of the Beast will be available in theaters exclusively June 9th. Uh, so definitely check out our review. Let us know what you think if you do go watch it. I mean, the Transformers films have been around for many a years and the, the franchise is beloved by all. So would love to kind of get an idea from people of what they think about this one. And of course, we have a Discord channel that you can go ahead and have that conversation. And the links for all that stuff, including all of our social media, wherever you can find us is all down below. Leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment on YouTube as well. And you can now also leave comments on Spotify, which is a great feature. There's some really, really cool things that people are saying on there. Uh, we have a huge community on Spotify that listens to us. So if you're one of those Spotifians, I believe is what they call them. Thank you so much for sticking around. Spotifians. Sp yeah. Spotifyians. Spotifyians. Yeah. There's no cool yeah. way of saying Apple Podcastians because it's just like, what it is yeah so, it's true yeah it's true you know that's what it is but of course i don't want to take too much of your time ladies and gentlemen i want to get right to this interview with the lovely anthony ramos so please let's kick it over to anthony ramos right now hey anthony how are you doing good what's going on not too much man not too much thank you uh so much for hanging out with us today on the movie podcast and congratulations on the film thanks thanks i'm so excited i'm just, i'm just like Saw it yesterday for the second time and I was going crazy. <laughs> that's wicked. It, it's it's amazing, right? And when you think of where we came from with the first Transformers, you know, that film changed everything. And I'm curious, do you remember what was going through your mind when you watched that first Transformers movie? Yeah, I mean, I was like, yo, I ain't never seen a movie like this. I never seen robots transform like this, like in this way. You know, Michael Bay, Michael Bay, one thing that, you know, he's he's been amazing at for all of them was the visual effects, man. I mean, you see some of these transformations look insane in these movies. And, um, you know, it was just really cool to, you know, to to even like just watching a scene like when when Sam Witwicky is like when Bumblebee, you know, he Bumblebee blows up the whole uh, the whole car dealership, breaks the glass. And yeah. All, <laughs> all the cars. And then Bernie Mac, you know, uh, rest in peace, Bernie Mac, you know, he, he he's like freaking out and, like you know, he just he just did an amazing job at combining you know, I'm really connecting these characters and these worlds of these cars and robots and these humans. And, uh, you know, and it's cool to, to, to be doing it in this way in this movie. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, now in Rise of the Beast, Mirage gets to be this beautiful Porsche 911 Carrera. If you had a transformer, what car would you want it to transform into? Yo, I honestly, I just drove this, the new Dodge Ram recently. Okay. It's crazy. I mean, I love the Porsche. The Porsche is incredible. So I, I gotta say the newest Porsche, but the 911, but um, but that but that Ram is crazy. I'm driving that joint in Twisters right now, <laughs> Twisters uh, in Oklahoma, and that that engine is it's that yo that car is crazy. That's wicked. We can't wait to see Twisters also. Yeah, that's a big one for us. Yeah, yeah, no, man, it's it's uh it's really exciting, man. That that the the cast is Daisy Edgar Jones is one of the greatest. She's one of the most amazing actors I've ever worked with in my life. And Lee Isaac Chung is uh, is a visionary man. He's such an amazing director. I love that. Now, your your character Noah, you know Pete Davidson's Mirage. You guys have such a wonderful chemistry with one another. And I'm curious, when you're shooting these scenes together, are you hearing Pete's voice? Are you picturing his face when you're when you're working on this movie with uh, like when you're shooting it? Nah, well, you know, we Pete wasn't cast yet when we shot this. Um, I think they got Pete. They gave Pete the role towards the end of filming or or after i can't remember i can't re remember when but so you know but we had an amazing reader named daniel you know shout out to daniel he helped so much and um yeah man he, you know he just read the lines somewhere off in the distance and uh and you just act into nothing man so i you know pete brought a lot to this role pete really he brought a lot of flavor you know he brought again that new york swag you know pete's from staten island and and, uh, you know, he's hilarious, bro. Like, this is the most fun I've ever had watching a Transformer on screen. Uh, Mirage is like one of the best characters. He's my favorite Transformer I've ever seen in, in, in these movies. So I'm excited for people to see what Pete did. I love that. Absolutely. And we, we want to quickly just wrap up before we do, though. We can't wait to see you as uh, the hood in Ironheart. Anything you can kind of tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we... we uh, we're, I'm really excited, man. I worked really hard on that character. Um, he's 
he's fun, a lot of fun. It, it was fun playing a bad guy too. Um, these scenes between me and Riri are insane. Some of these scenes are crazy, bro. Like the beef that we have in this in this series is is really fun. It was really, really fun going toe to toe with her. And uh, Dominique Thorne, she's, she's, y'all just get ready for her. That's all I got to say. Get ready. I love that. Anthony, thank you so much for your time. You're so damn good in this film, and we can't wait to see everything you got coming up, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we're back. Wow, that was a lot of fun. We had a really good time with uh, with Anthony. Not Anthony from the show, but Anthony Ramos. We never have a good time with Anthony from the show. No, I mean, I, I hope people assume from this point forward, when we say we had a good time with Anthony, it's with Anthony Ramos, not Anthony. Beyond Kama, this episode as well. Host of the movie podcast. Yeah, going forward. Yeah. <laughs> anytime we just, just refer to Anthony, we're talking about Ramos now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we say like, good job, Anthony, it's yeah. Anthony Ramos. Yes, exactly. Daniel, what did you think about her, about this conversation? I think Anthony is is awesome. You know, he he's one of those guys that I think just love what he does. He's so excited about what he's doing and the fact that we got to talk to him, we got to geek out with him a little bit about, you know, 2007 Transformers, working with Pete Davidson, what that was looking like, obviously his favorite car. Um, and then we got a little we got a little sneak peek at what Twister and what Ironheart's going to be looking like. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, I think on the map or on the road trip of what is Anthony Ramos's career. I'm not going to make any more road <laughs> analogies anymore after our review. Make sure you go check that out. But uh, we had a lot of fun with him as always. The only thing that that's that holds us back is, you know, the time limits that we're given. So hopefully we'll get to talk to him in the future again. We'll get some more time. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, you, you kind of forget about that. You know, he's, he's involved in so many things. And obviously with Daisy Edgar Jones, he, he had nothing but praise for her and we've, we've loved her work. So to see her also in this movie with directed by Lee Isaac Chung, who again, phenomenal director, definitely go check out in his, twisters and twisters. Yeah. In twisters. Sorry, yeah. Go, go check out his work as well. But there's, there's so much that's coming out right now with him in it. And obviously transformers dropping June 9th. Don't forget, check out a review, check out, the movie if you want and then let us know what you think of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think about it first like what I'm else like, could I'm, they check I'm out? like i can't already say check out this interview because you're at the yeah. end of it you could but you could check out all of our social content on all of our social feeds like what what do we have out right now you know we got a lot of stuff out we had some great interviews out with anthony ramos you could check out all the videos for that if you're watching it on youtube you know, like and subscribe, do all that. But also go check out all of the other incredible videos that we've dropped for BlackBerry, for Into the Spider, sorry, Across the Spider Verse. Mm. There's so many things out right now. We're in a crazy month of movies. This is the best place to stay here. Absolutely. It was also a great interview out right now with Sean William Scott for The Wrath of Becky. Go ahead and check that out as well. That was a really, really fun conversation. Again, huge shout out to Paramount Pictures for allowing us the opportunity to watch the movie and also talk to Anthony because we had a really good time talking to Anthony Ramos, not Anthony of the movie podcast. I just want to make that no. clear. Yes. Of course, all of our information is available down below. Go ahead, join our Discord. Let us know what you think about the show, about the movie, about whatever's going on in your life. It's a great community, and we love hearing it all. Make sure to keep subscribed and, and follow us and like us everywhere you go. And, of course, that was This Time with the Movie Podcast, and we'll see you next.